And at just about 9 o'clock, you are listening to KOPN Columbia 89.5 FM. My name is Mike Hagan. It is 9 o'clock Friday morning, which means it's once again time for Open Mic Radio. Let's get your weekend rolling with the Daves. I know this one as a, uh, we know this one as a Tommy Johnson tune. This is uh, Never Drive a Stranger from Your Door.
Thank you. We're sort of known for our avant-garde endings, so that was... All right, there you go. Welcome to the program, everybody. It is uh, Open Mic Radio, Friday, August 28th, 2020. And uh, coming to you high up in the Dalton Building, lovely downtown Columbia, Missouri. Back with you this morning and on the air live. Again, every week here on Open Mic Radio, we feature interviews with Missouri's finest musicians and bands. And we hear a bunch of their songs. And my name is Mike. Good to be here with you. Glad you're listening, whether you're doing it over the traditional airwaves or worldwide over the internet. Hello and happy Friday to everyone out there. Welcome to the show. Wish you all well and hope you're doing okay this week. All right, lovely summer morning today in mid-Missouri. A little bit warm, but actually the summer's been pretty awesome, I think. I mean, um... Had a couple hot ones, but I don't think there's been a I don't think there's been a day where we've had a hundred a hundred degrees. I don't know. We had a few in the nineties, but I work my my regular job is in uh, in a manufacturing facility, and there's no air conditioning in there. And man, let me tell you, usually in the summertime it gets super hot out there, ten fifteen degrees hotter than the temperature outside, and and it's uh, this year it has been. Hasn't been that bad out there in the shop. So, anyway, nice day this morning, and uh, I think the weekend's supposed to be real nice as well. Might be a little warm, but, you know, do something to keep yourself cool and uh, try to make it a good one, all right? Got an exciting show lined up for you this morning and also a little live music happening again this weekend, so that's fantastic. Before we get to that, though, I will say thank you to my guest for the last two weeks, Mr. Rob Lampy. We had a lot of fun last week and the week before and uh, did some deep diving into the uh, Columbia Music Archives from you know, the 70s, 80s, 90s, and up up to the, the current stuff. Anyway, Rob, super cool guy and a real talented musician, and uh, it was a pleasure to have him uh, with me for a couple weeks here on the show. And uh, if you want to check him out, uh, you can find that stuff on the podcast if you just go to my website at mikehagan.com click on the button that says open mic radio and then there's a little podcast thing there that you can subscribe to and then yeah, if you miss the show it'll magically appear in your uh, podcast player whenever i get the uh, ambition to put the show up and i'm not you know, I'm, sometimes i'm real good about it and sometimes i kind of slack like lately i haven't been i haven't been doing the greatest but anyway there's a bunch of stuff up there, and uh, you can check it out. All right. Okay. Uh, this morning, we will be featuring the music of the Daves, some swampy bluegrass delta music from uh, some gentlemen that have been playing music around town for a long time. I've got one of them on the line with me right now, and uh, I think I'm going to play another song, though, and get my act together before we get to Mr. Dave Angle, and we'll have a visit from uh, hopefully some of the other guys with the Daves uh, in just a bit here, but um, let's play another one from the Daves. We're we're going to hear a couple songs, uh, actually probably more than a couple, from uh, a reasonably new record that the Daves uh, recorded, and it's live at Rose Music Hall, which is where they will be performing uh, this evening. So I think without further delay, we're going to hear a little bit more from the Daves. We'll come back and uh, uh, chat with them and uh, have some fun. All right, it's Mike, and you're listening to Open Mic Radio on KOPN Columbia, 89.5 FM. We're streaming on the web at kopn.org. And, uh, yeah, me on the web at mikehagan.com. Here's one uh, called Candyman. Back in a few. All right. Debate settled. This is John. Well, 
the candy man and you're listening to it here it's open mic radio on kopn columbia 89.5 fm and uh we're gonna get to our guests here and uh see if we can get the radio gods to co- cooperate with my technology and say welcome to the program mr david angle hi man good morning how are you sir you know i'm i'm great how are you mike i'm good i'm what? glad to hear it thanks yeah. for having me and thanks for doing such an awesome show i look forward to uh open mic every friday morning well, I appreciate it. It's one of the more fun things that I get to do uh, in the week, and I'm thrilled that I still get the opportunity to do it during a very strange uh, time in the life of the world. Amen to that, brother. You're kind of holding the line, you know, uh, keeping normalcy uh, here for a little bit. Well, you know, I don't know if we call it normal, but I'm sure, you know, we, 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 we got to have our music, and if we can't uh, do it live all the time, we can certainly play some and uh, talk about it and, uh, and think about uh, the days to come and... Uh, talk a little bit about the days uh, the fun times we've had you know maybe i should rephrase keeping abnormalcy here for a bit <laughs> yeah no doubt about it well uh what uh we've got a we've got a show tonight speaking of uh, uh live music and trying to keep a sense of normalcy uh, they've done a remarkable job over there at rose over the last uh, month or so and i've uh, I'm, i've been uh uh, really pleased uh, that that you and other people have had an opportunity to play, and uh, they're doing it outside in a very cautious and uh, thoughtful manner. And anyway, I'm I'm thrilled that we have we have a, at least one venue like that around town where we can do it. So maybe you could talk a little bit about your experience there. You've you've played I think there once uh, recently. In fact, I think the Dave's opened the rose the sort of Corona rose. Uh, 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 series and maybe you could talk a little bit about that and then what's happening uh what's happening tonight okay yeah you bet and uh i second everything you said we are uh very fortunate to have a club club management club ownership uh in columbia uh that is doing a uh, live music uh limited series and doing it safely um i don't know you know, of course, I don't know every venue in the country, but I personally don't know of another venue in the country 
where uh, safety can be uh, put in place like they have at Rose. Uh, anyone who's familiar with the park knows it's a large uh, downward sloping space uh, that leads to this uh, beautiful outdoor stage. Yeah. They have taken the time uh, during the time when they were closed and um, revamped the outdoor sound system uh, to the point where it is uh, just damn amazing, frankly. Yeah, uh, yeah. And it is, uh, you know, it's a reproduction that uh, of sound that you don't get very many places. And you combine that with the talents of Dylan McCord, who's the engineer, mm. and you combine that with, importantly in these times, the space and their willingness to uh, over uh, limit the audience to 150. Uh, so the space at Rose is gigantic. Uh, and with 150 limit, you can be 50 feet away from people if you want to be. Yeah, that's true. Uh, you, can, you can enter uh, and never interact with a human being uh, from, from a very good distance. And uh, if that's how you want your experience to be, uh, amen to you, but please come on out. And uh, it's, uh, um, it's really a testament to the ownership and management and employees of Rose Music Hall that they have uh, endeavored to uh, try and keep some form of live music working in our town. Yeah, I agree with you absolutely fully. Um, and, I, and I'll also say that we've got someone else who wants to join us here. I don't know if it's another Dave, but let's see who it is. Do you mind, David? Of course. All right. Hi. Uh, who's this? It's Open Mic Radio. Welcome to the show. This is Dave. How are you? Mr. Dave Darnley. <laughs> All right. Good to oh, hear you, Mr. my friend. Angle. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Dave. Hi, Dave. What's Hi. happening up on the bluff there, sir? Uh, I'm just kind of watching uh, the birds and um, sitting here uh, getting my gear ready to uh, take to Rose Hall this evening. All right, I'm, I'm, I like when you guys start talking about your gear, Dave. You, uh, <laughs> Dave Angle, you said that you were going to have a guitar in hand. Uh, what, what, what kind of guitar you you got close to you this morning? Uh, indeed, uh, I am holding a uh, my Gibson, which is uh, the L double O shaped uh, model. Some would call it a parlor size mm, guitar. Yeah. Yeah. And it's the one that uh, you see uh, when I'm playing standard tuning songs on stage, and it is. Uh, you know that it is a near and dear uh, item, and uh, yeah, I'm proud glad to be the guardian of it. And uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's pretty old. It's a 1930 something. Uh, what probably saved it during its lifetime is that someone along the way uh, repainted it, and uh, probably as a result of that, the the ability to identify the exact date when it was built is not possible. But it's somewhere in the 30s, uh, you know, which puts it smack in the time period of. Uh, Mance Lipscomb, Robert Johnson, Tommy Johnson, et cetera. Well, then, then you're you're one of the one of the right men to have it in in his hands. Then so that is a high compliment. Thank you. <laughs> and Dave Durnley, what are you going to be playing tonight, or what are you messing around with this morning? Um, I'm not sure. I'm going to take one of my Nationals and one of my wooden guitars. And it's just the deal that you know I used to do so many gigs that like picking up the right gear for the right gig was like a reflex. Mm. And now it's like I have to think. Let's see, what do I need? I'm not even sure what I need. So, <laughs> well, you also have the challenge of finding it. Well, I I know where it's at because I've got I'm surrounded by it every day, all day. So. That's what I'm talking about. You have so many guitars; they might be covering. Oh them yeah, up, I got a ton know? of them. I keep them out. I just don't carry them around anywhere anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm uh, I'm I'm looking forward to uh, to the per to the show tonight. Even though I will not be there, maybe I'll just uh, have to listen in spirit. I'm 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 on the way to Springfield, Illinois, in a little bit this afternoon. We're we got a little baseball thing going on, so. Uh, but I am uh, interested in hearing what what you what you've got pl planned for the night. How many how many Daves uh, are going to be joining you? What's the makeup of the band this evening? Uh, I believe it will be five Daves, five of the six this evening. Uh, our good friend and uh, uh, harp player extraordinaire, uh, Paul Weber, Dave will Weber. not be joining us. Paul, mm. you, as, as most folks probably know, is a very hardworking farming man yes, and uh, uh, now is a, uh, uh, a busy, busy time for, uh, for Mr. Weber. So we certainly understand and uh, uh, look forward to uh, laying back time, as they used to say, and uh, that'll be when he can join us. Uh, we've got Alan Washbow on bass, Justin Hickerson on drums, Tony Lotvin on saxophone, and, of course, 
uh, me and Dave uh, playing guitar and singing. All right, fantastic. And the show is, I believe, a six o'clock show with doors at five. That is correct, and it's uh, the part of what. And, and I don't know if we're supposed to talk about money on this show, but part of what uh, allows Rose to uh, continue to do this is, you know, normally if we were playing there at happy hour time in a quote unquote normal time, it mm. would be free. Yes. Uh, but but now they've got to limit the uh, attendance to. Uh, a very small fraction of what it otherwise could be. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they've got to staff up to keep us safe, uh, and they've got to have folks, you know, making sure people are wearing masks when they come in. They got to have folks, uh, uh, you know, uh, overstaffed to serve people because uh, uh, you have to stay so far away, uh, and it, you know, it just takes a little longer to do things. And they're uh, uh, accommodating that by overstaffing and uh, combining that with the limited attendance. Uh, uh, they have, uh, I think, very understandably moved to a cover-based system. It's a moderate cover tonight. It's five bucks, uh, and uh, that is, uh, in my view, a small price to pay if you can pay it. Yeah, I agree, and and I think, uh, you know, as you mentioned, their their capacity is, gosh, out there in the park. I imagine they can have seven, eight hundred people. You know, in, I would think I, so. Yeah, ba- back in the day, so they're 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 much more limited in in the uh, the level of crowd that they're allowing and, and with good reason and uh, they also can only do it a couple nights a week they used to be open all the time and you know it's it's been a, uh, a difficult time for everyone but uh, you know small businesses and certainly if you're in the music industry or in the entertainment industry or in the leisure industry in general it's going to be uh, you know you've got some some horror stories uh, you know to be told out there so I really give them a lot of credit and I and I think that it's well worth the five dollars uh, whether I'm supposed to say that on the radio or not, but uh, it's certainly supporting live music and you know local regional m- musicians who we all love and and uh, and we get so much enjoyment out of. And I've I've mentioned it more uh, than once, but you know sometimes you got to lose something to really appreciate it. And as much as I have you know loved live music, you know you really get a feel for how how well we had it and and what what a great group of musicians that we are fortunate enough to be around in this part of the country so i'm i'm thrilled that you guys have a chance to play tonight and good job again for uh nolan and all the guys at rose and uh and and the blue note uh, management for for helping us pull it off yeah amen to that you know, i would add to that list uh management ownership employees of uh rose music hall because you yes. know you, you can't you have to look at what they're doing and you have to say, well, this is more than a business decision. Mm. You know, there's, there's some level of right. commitment to, uh, uh, to the community and to music itself, uh, to, to just do what they're doing. Yeah. Um, yeah. you know, yeah. and that's, we have been lucky to have endured a change of, not endured, to gone through a change of ownership of the Blue Note and Rose. And we really haven't seen a drop in that commitment. No, I agree. They, they, they were, uh, a, a great, match or a great choice i guess uh, or or just luck of the draw whatever the fact that the the people that took over rose and the blue note are the ones that they are because the, i agree that their commitment has been has been maintained really strong so anyway so Durnley, um what uh what, what have you been doing we, we talked a little bit um i don't know it's been a couple months since we talked on the air but you've been pretty much uh holed up there on the bluff for a few months <laughs> give, give or take a couple of live shows yeah pretty much well i've been pretty much holed up here for 10 years <laughs> <laughs> right that's right i forgot that <laughs> yeah. have you have, have you guys been working on 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 songs or you've been working on your individual skills or have you not been playing anything well or, dave I've been working on a couple of new ones where we're we're breaking out uh, maybe tonight even Excellent. you know not a whole lot but we've been getting together a little bit kind of doing our little band practice out on the porch outside and everybody gives each other a little space but uh, yeah I've been working on some stuff out here I've, um, um, I'm thinking about getting ready to do a, a, a CD of, of honky tonk tunes so I'm missing the scrappers and uh, mm, no doubt I've been kind of working on that, but you know, other than that, it's just uh, I listen to a lot of music, play lots of guitars, and look out the window. All right, cool. And um, you'll be looking out the car window or the or your truck window in a little while because you'll be driving into town uh, for the show tonight at Rose Music Hall, 
and that's uh, five o'clock doors, six o'clock, six o'clock show. And that's another thing that they're doing is they're opening the doors an hour early, so people have time to get in there, get settled, get comfortable. And uh, uh, again, you know, they've really put a lot of thought into uh, how they're doing this stuff. So, um, you guys, let's take a break and play a song, and then we'll come back and chat a little bit more. Okay. Alrighty. And actually, uh, you can tell me a little bit about this, Dave, or you can tell the uh, tell the listeners. You uh, you guys released a record uh, called Now and Then. I think, what was it, like 2017? How long has it been? No, 2018, I guess. Um, but anyway, there are 10 or 11 songs on it, and some of them were uh, very early material that uh, Dave Angle that you recorded with Andy Ream, if I remember correctly, and then uh, and then we had some some stuff that was done with the newer sort of uh, combination of the Daves. Um, I'm going to play one uh, called Clay Pigeons. Will you tell me a little bit about that song and your performance of it? Sure. Um, part of you know when we describe ourselves for shows or bios or what have you, we usually include uh, something regarding Blaze Foley because mm. um, that's probably if we want to compliment ourselves uh that's probably a close approximation of what we do uh but just in a band setting and blaze was uh you know an american musician who was influenced by uh the people that we also are influenced by some folks like john hurt or fred mcdowell or furry lewis uh, and <laughs> yeah, and yeah. he transformed that finger picking really a lot, probably more John Hurt than than anyone else. But uh, the the style that Blaze Foley played in, uh, I think, could be considered to be kind of a cross between country and country blues. Hmm. And um, uh, I was introduced to Blaze Foley uh, not personally because he's long since been dead, but just to his music by Andy uh, Ream and uh, you know. That, that kind of all relates back to the Blue Fugue and the Melting Pot and sure. uh, swirling around the various influences and trading, you know, people that you are influenced by. Uh, and Clay Pigeons was one that uh, John Prine had a little bit of hit up, uh, hit with. And, of course, we lost John this year. And um, it's uh, it's been one that, you know, when John died, I didn't know him personally, of course, but uh, it hit me pretty hard, and 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 the connection to uh, John Pine through this Blaze Foley song is, is significant right now too. Yeah. Okay. All right. Excellent. Well, we're gonna hear that one, and then we'll come back and uh, chat with you guys a little bit more. It's Mike, and you are listening to Open Mic Radio on KOPN Columbia 89.5 FM. On the web at kopn.org, streaming all around this crazy planet. And uh, for me, you can check it out at mikehagan.com. Uh, <laughs> .com, yes, this is Clay Pigeons, and it's the Daves on Open Mic Radio. Station, buy a ticket to ride. Find that lady with two or three kids. I'll sit right down by her side. Ride until the sun comes up and down about two or three times. Smoking cigarettes in the last seat, trying to hide my sorrow from all the people I meet. I get along with y'all. Down with people, see y'all. Sing a song with a friend But change the shape I mean Get back in the game And stop playing again I'd like to stay But I might have to go To start over again I might go back down to Texas I go to somewhere I've never been Get up in the morning and go out at night And I won't have to go home I used to being alone Change the words to the sun Start singing again Questions that I already know I could 
build me a castle of memories just to have somewhere to go. Count the days and nights until it takes you get back into the saddle again. Feed the pigeons of clay. Turn the night into day. I'll start talking again when I know. This program is brought to you by listener support and a donation from Ragtag Cinema. Ragtag is open once again, screening classic films in the theater from Spike Lee, Gene Kelly, Alfred Hitchcock, and more. Health guidelines are in place and seating is limited. Private theater rentals are also available seven days a week. More information about what's playing can be found at ragtagcinema.org or by visiting Ragtag at 10 Hit Street in downtown Columbia. Woo! All right, uh, it's Mike, and you're listening to Open Mic Radio on KOPN Columbia. I've got Dave Angle on the line with me, one of the many Daves that we'll be playing this evening. And I've got somebody else on the line, too. I think we lost Dernley, but i got somebody else here. Who else is on the line with us? Hi. Uh, hi, this is Dave Dernley. Uh, yeah, you hung up on me. Uh, I'm just sitting up here on the bluff counting my guitars, uh, taking pictures, and Singing to the bird. Hey. <laughs> My apologies, Dave. I didn't mean to lose you there. Boy, what, what happened to your voice in the meantime? Just kidding. It's me, Justin. Hey, Justin Hickerson. How are you, my friend? Hey, I'm really good. How are you, Mike? I'm great. It's really good to hear you. I've been missing you. I know. I've been missing you, too. I've been uh, lately rolling around in a truck that has no radio in it. <laughs> well, you know, you're a hard-working um, man, and... I, I'm surprised that you don't have a radio, though. How do you survive? I actually bought a new radio last week to put in there, and it's, uh, I don't know if it doesn't work or if I'm going to have to spend an entire afternoon uh, tracing all the wires in the truck. Oh. But I, uh, I don't enjoy it without a radio. I'll just say that. Yeah. And I'm trying to remedy that sooner than later. <laughs> okay. Because I, I miss you, too, Mike. Hey, are you looking forward and I'm, to... And I'm, Go ahead. Sorry. I'm bummed. I'm bummed that you're not going to be there tonight. <laughs> I am. I, I, I am too. I was. Uh, I was hoping to be there. In fact, uh, even last week I was planning on it. But we got my my son, who's I shouldn't say too much about it, but he's a uh, going. In, you know, he'll be a junior in high school, um, and he's a pretty good baseball player. And he got invited to a, a sort of a high level scouting tournament up in Springfield, Illinois. Uh, for the weekend, oh. and I and I sort of had to let him go, and I want to go with him, of course. So I'm excited about that, and kind of came up in the last just in the last few days. So, well, and that's understandable. And congratulations. Yeah, to, thanks. I'm not sure. I don't. I can't remember your son's name. I'm well, this is now. yeah. This is Alistair or Alex. Uh, we call him. But uh, and then and then Lucas is my my younger boy. Okay. Yeah. Well, but, congratulations to everyone. Hey, hey, thanks, Justin. That's uh, exciting. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, how's Hickerson Lawn and Landscape? I'll give you a free promo. You guys have been working hard all summer, but it's kind of kind of slowing down a little bit now, or no? Hickerson Lawn and Landscape is doing fine. Um, I have recently gone my separate way, and now a solo operation, and wow. am uh, uh, completely self-employed. I'm also doing well. Hickerson is doing well. There's no... Uh, uh, no animosity? No. So, no, it was a, it was an amicable amicable break, but uh, just for me personally, 
you know, we've spent the last couple years building that company, and and it was my brother who owns it. Mm, and yeah. for for me personally, once we got to a point, I always knew I was going to kind of break away and do my own thing because I just don't really like the high paced, high intensity, full schedule, full on commercial landscaping mm. forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> but I do enjoy the but I do enjoy the task and I was planning on doing this next spring, but as twenty twenty has been a year of such uncertainty and dramatic change, mm. just figured why not? Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I agree. It started I, now. Yeah. I think you know, there are always uh there are positives and negatives that kind of come out of all situations, and, and there have been some positive things, although they may seem hard to find sometimes, but um, I think a lot of people have kind of taken this year as an opportunity to kind of say, okay, well, everything else is kind of going up in flames. I might as well just jump in the water and, and, and try something new or do something that I've always wanted to do or make a change that was long, long coming or something like that. Yeah, and... Uh... Yeah, it was exactly that kind of thing. So, so Hickerson Lawn and Landscape is doing well, and and best of luck to everyone, obviously. But uh, but for me personally, I've uh, I'm also doing well. Good. And you can go on and get give me a call for all your lawn and landscaping <laughs> needs. Justin's Lawn Service five seven three five one four nine two six two. Now you know I'll be Justin's. your ding dang dude out in your yard. <laughs> okay, all right. Justin's landscaping now. All right, I love it. I'm glad you're doing it, and I'm 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 glad you're happy. So, all right. Now back to yeah. music. Uh, I imagine that you're happy to be playing uh, the drum kit this evening with your pals up on stage there. Absolutely. I uh, I've been grateful for for the opportunities we've we've had to play this year and uh, kind of to uh, double down on what what Dave's been saying about Rose Music Hall. We are all very, very mm. lucky to have that space in our community and have the people working it doing all that they're doing to to enable us to still have some semblance of a uh, of shows in town. Yeah. Yeah. I agree fully. So, yeah. so I'm very very happy to do so i anticipate you know as with any show that gets get played this year that it'll be one that we'll all remember <laughs> no doubt about it i'm uh gonna mention the time and the place again that's uh tonight at rose well, i guess this evening friday night at uh, rose music hall the doors are at five o'clock the show will start around six you got an hour to get settled and get comfortable and uh, maybe get a drink if you choose and they do a great job out there, and you really should consider going down there and supporting these musicians and uh, and supporting the the staff and the, and the crew out there, out there at Rose. I will also say there's one other gentleman that I want want to mention that has a show tonight. It's over in Overland Park, Kansas, and it's Blake Gardner. And the reason I mention it is because Blake's a hard working man, and he's uh, one of the few who's worked real hard to to, to keep his his music alive and he's been playing wherever he can and i'm always supportive of mr gardner so blake gardner tonight at pinstripes in uh, overland park kansas and again that'll be outside in a nice big space and i'm sure they're uh, going to do a good job of taking care of people and that's overland park kansas so if you're out out west uh blake gardner tonight at pinstripes and okay so back to the daves um what kind of set you're going to play two sets you're going to play three you're going to play all night what's happening dave um, I, I think it's going to be two sets, probably an hour or so each. And, uh, you know, we, we like to keep it going. So it's, it'll be six to, you know, eight thirty or something like that. They have a certain point when they have to, uh, uh, shut her down in this environment. Uh, we probably won't bump up against that, but two and a half hours, you know, maybe a little more. Okay. All right, cool. All right, well, we are uh, looking at about uh, 20, maybe 19 minutes left in the program here. I want to play another song um, off of Now and Then, and then before uh, we get out of here, I'll close the show with, uh, with something from your live recording at Rose. So let's play another one here from Now and Then. I'm going to ask you a little bit about that. Uh, that record again before we play it though um, this is a, a vinyl album which explains why I couldn't find my CD this morning um, and, uh. and, and why I'm playing I, I sent a note today I'm like, I, I'm like is this available online I don't have my CD and he's like it's only on vinyl anyway uh, 
<laughs> so so uh, you got, and it's, it was big vinyl, if I remember now. Yeah, you, you made the real thick 180-gram uh, <laughs> vinyl album. And uh, is that still It's a, a beaut. Yeah, is that still available, you guys? Or, or did you make a limited number of those? Uh, the answer to both questions is yes. Okay. All right. And, yes. if, and if people are if people are interested in, in in the music and maybe want to get a copy of the record, uh, the best way is to come oh. to the show. Yeah. And, and, and we'll so long as there. we remember to bring them. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, <laughs> best way is to come to the show, but but uh, folks can reach out on Bandcamp, purchase it there. They can. Um, I, I like to direct people to Bandcamp because I think that's probably the most ethical uh, of the music platforms. Mm, okay. uh, it certainly isn't Spotify, and it certainly isn't uh, uh, Apple Music and you know what have you. So I, right. the band camp for the Daves is probably the, uh, uh, the second best place if you can't get out to the show. Okay, and if you're interested in that on the web, it's the Daves Mojo uh, if you're looking for them on Bandcamp. And uh, uh, that's a great record, and there are 11 Thank songs. You. And uh, real quickly, a little bit about the album. I know the Now and Then kind of refers to the two different sides of the album, the A and the B side. Could you explain that a little bit? Uh, sure. And um, the uh, well, I'll just start with that. The uh, uh, side A is a, is a more recent interpretation, although it doesn't include Justin, which is what I was stumbling over there. Mm. Um, and the next time that we record something in studio, it will. Yes. Uh, but at at that point in time, I don't think Justin and and I had started playing together yet. Uh, and Andy was in town more. He's of course a member of the Hooten Hollers, and before uh, the pandemic took hold, they you know they were out three hundred or more days a year. I think uh, I hear him in the background with Justin. Yeah, there, yeah. His, his you know his falsetto vocals are there on on some of the uh, harmony uh, on some of the tracks. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that's side A. We went to Will Reeves' studio uh, and and recorded it uh, and and. Uh, Paul's on there. John Randall's on there a little bit with fiddle and some vocals, um, and uh, uh, it was it was you know a joyous time. And then the side B is from I think 2010 uh, when Andy and I just faced off in Will's studio. Uh, Will set me up with a couple of old tube amps. I plugged into him, uh, and and we did it like we might have been on the Blue Fugue stage. <laughs> uh, and and so it's got that sort of uh, you know rawness to it. Yep, that was the uh, Dave Angle and the Dog Pound Jangle back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> Another Andy Ream turn of a phrase. So, uh, yeah, All right. He, he's present here as well. Hey, tell, tell Andy I said hi back there. All right, well, I didn't oh. mean that physically. I just meant philosophically. Oh, yeah, but I, th I think he's there with Justin. I thought I heard him in the background. Maybe not, but... I don't think No, so. no, no. No? Okay, he, that was just, a, my, just my mind. He's, he's, a, he's running on the Hickerson crew right now, and if you're listening... Hey, Bobby. <laughs> What's up, guys? Okay, so, uh, Dave, we're going to play one here called Highway 61, and this is one that's also on the uh, the live uh, recording from Rose, and we're going to talk about that a little bit when we come back, okay? Okay. All right, everybody, it's Mike. You're listening to Open Mic Radio on KOPN Columbia. I've got Dave Angle and uh, Dave Hickerson on the line with me, a couple of the Daves that are going to be performing tonight at Rose Music Hall. That's 5 o'clock doors, 6 o'clock show, Five bucks to get in. Well worth your time. Well worth your money to support uh, these uh, wonderful musicians and uh, the great staff and crew over there at Rose. All right. This, uh, again, once again, Highway 61. Check it out. Back in a few minutes.
I'm Effie Willig, and you're listening to Open Mic Radio on KOPN 89.5 FM. <laughs> That's right. It is Open Mic Radio, and it is KOPN Columbia 89.5 FM. I've got my friend Mr. Dave Angle on the line with me this morning. He'll be performing with a number of other Daves this evening at 6 o'clock at Rose Music Hall out in, the Rose, uh, out in Rose Park. And uh, let's get back to Dave and say hi. What's, What's up? up? How you doing, brother? Excellent thing. All right. You know, I've, I've been struggling with something, and I'm just going to put it out there. Please. Um, it is, uh, none of us uh, are guaranteed how much time we have on this big blue ball that's spinning around. Mm. And uh, that was, that was I was recently reminded of that. And, and uh, uh, there's it's dominating my thoughts right now how fortunate we are to uh, have uh, brothers and sisters to gather with. Uh, so that's that's how we're approaching tonight. Wow. Well, I'm 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 feeling you. I think uh, maybe it's more personal than than some whatever you're going through. But but certainly this whole year has been, I think, uh, uh, a time that's brought it more front and center for everyone. Just our own uh, mortality and uh, you know uh, the appreciation of what we have and what we've had and what. Uh, what it means to, to kind of be alive. So, anyway, I'm with you. Amen to that, brother. Didn't mean to uh, uh, drop too heavy of a message there, but uh, no, uh, no, it was something uh, I wanted to put out there. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's going to come through in your songs tonight. And again, I'm sorry I can't be there, but for the people who can get ready for a great show tonight with the Daves, they always put their hearts into it. And uh, and yeah, Dave, I'm, 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 I'm hoping that you have a. A wonderful time tonight, and and whatever's going on uh, personally, that uh, that it all works out. So, amen to that, brother. Okay, sir. So uh, let's though. We've got about four minutes. I got about three to talk with you here before I play because I want to play. I want to play. Um, I want to play. That's no way to get along on the way out of here, and that's kind of a long one. And I want to kind of. I want to get the whole thing in. Uh, but uh, you recorded something at Rose. How long ago was that recorded? I guess it was recently. Yeah, that was um, it. Was the winter time? I remember because it was it was a really cold night, and um, I think it was February of this year, mm -hmm. which, as it turns out, was really fortunate because uh, you know everything kind of shut down shortly after that, and yeah. here we had this recording of a live performance uh, that uh, uh, you know took place in the environment prior to COVID taking hold. So mm -hmm. it's sort of a, a recent memory of uh, what it used to be like, I guess. Um, and uh, we didn't even know it was going to happen. Uh, at the end of the show, uh, our set, we were opening for the Danielle Nicole band, uh, and that brought out more people than maybe otherwise would have come out in, in those circumstances. Hmm. And uh, at the end of our set, Dylan uh, said he had it you know, down uh, uh, on the hard drive, and uh, I came back and got a copy of it, took it to Will uh, at Centro Cellar, and uh, bumped up the volume a little, and that was that. Wow, fantastic. Yeah, well, it, was, it really just kind of was a happenstance thing. I sent it to uh, uh, Eric Danielson at the Tribune, and he wrote a nice review about it. And, uh, you know, it's it's something that also motivated us to not be so stingy uh, with how we uh, mm, yeah. uh, distribute it. And, and we just broke down the barriers on Bandcamp so that if people want to pay for it, they can. Fantastic. All right, David. Well, I'm going to say goodbye for now, and I'm going to wish you a great show again tonight. And we'll play one more on the way out the door here. And uh, thanks, as always. Hey, thank you, Mike. Thanks for doing what you do. Great show, and uh, thanks for having me and, and talking about our show. Same thing, man. I appreciate you. All right, Dave Angle and the Daves. Catch them tonight. Rose Music Hall, 5 o'clock doors, 6 o'clock show, 5 bucks to get in. You can also find them at the Daves Mojo at Bandcamp. Fantastic guys and great musicians, wonderful songs, and uh, can't say anything uh, bad about them. So we are going to play one more uh, on the way out, but I will say stick around for Diana Moxon and Speaking of the Arts coming up in about seven minutes. And uh, if you want to get a hold of me, if you're interested in being on the program, I have some people that I need to get a hold of that we had plans with prior to this whole COVID business, and I will get back to you. I was hoping that, uh, you know, we might be able to get some people down here in the studio, so I've been holding off on a lot of stuff, but looks like uh, it's going to be a while before that happens. So um, anyway, feel free to get a hold of me. My email address is MikeHagan at MikeHagan.com. Easy enough. Maybe I can take a quick phone call here. Uh, hi, who's this? 
Hey, this is Naked Day Bandy. Uh, just uh, thanking you for your show. I love it every month, every, every Friday. I, I try to catch it. And Dave, thanks for the call. I'm not going to stay too long, but also I want to let you know that I got the CD that you sent to me, and we'll play that on the air here soon. Okay. Oh, I, I appreciate it, man. I, and I, I went back and looked, uh, listened to the podcast of the show I did before, and you did a great job. I thank you for that. Hey, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Take care of yourself. Okay, Dave? All right. Thanks. All right. Bye. bye. All right. Once again, uh, yeah, Mike Hagan at MikeHagan.com, on the web at MikeHagan.com, KOPN.org, streaming all the time. Hello to my mom. Hi to my love, Debbie, up there in Chicago. Her son's in town. Hope you have a great weekend. And... Uh, yeah, I'll uh, catch y'all next week. Here's one from the Daves live at Rose Music Hall. It's called That's No Way to Get Along. Treat your person so wrong, low down, women treat your
Robert Wilkins. The uh, the Rolling Stones put that on Beggar's Banquet as Prodigal Son, and in classic American. Blues.